Hey everyone, it's Venom. Today we're going to be talking about how to get into the competitive side of Echo Arena. If you're newer to the game, you've probably done your fair share of pub grinding, but have the desire to continue developing past individual skill. Unless you're partying up with a group of friends for public matches, every game you join will be filled with different players, personalities, and skill types. Finding a team can be the best way to grow as a player due to learning new tips and tricks from each other as well as having more consistency in your matches. So there are quite a few different leagues that have popped up over the past couple years but I would say the easiest entry level and most common league in the game right now is VRML. If you haven't seen it yet, I put together a video that discusses what VRML is and why you should consider playing in it. I'll go ahead and link that in the top right corner. Now assuming that you've heard of this league, seen the posters in the lobby, or noticed players with VRML banners over their heads, you may have made the decision to jump into competitive play, but don't know where to get started with finding a team. This is what we're going to be focusing on today. So to start with, we'll look at the different avenues you can take for joining a team. This is generally the way to go as a newer player. Captaining a team can take a lot of effort when it comes to recruiting, scheduling scrims and matches, and also developing strategy or coaching. Hence, joining a team that has some experience may be the best way to go. However, if you've already got a group of friends that are wanting to play together, you will be absolutely just fine with VRML's MMR algorithm placing your team at the appropriate skill level. Now, there are a few places I would recommend starting your search. You may check out the Echo VR Facebook page or subreddit, you might try asking players you find chemistry with in lobbies or pub games, or my personal favorite, the VRML Discord server. This, in my opinion, is going to give you the best opportunities for finding a team, not to mention being on Discord is a must if you want to pursue a competitive career in the sport. If you haven't already joined the VRML Discord server, I'll link it in the description of this video. So once you've joined the server, we're going to navigate over to the player resources section. The server just recently updated this making it much more efficient for matching players and teams. We'll focus on the looking for team and recruiting channels. Starting with looking for team, you'll immediately notice multiple threads covering different tier ranks. If you have zero competitive experience, I would recommend starting with a post in unranked, bronze, or silver. These threads are a great place to talk yourself up a bit and try to stand out. However, they are constantly being posted in and can end up drowning you out if you don't keep up with staying near the most recent post. So it's not a bad place to start, but if you are wanting to be more active in your search, we'll move on to the recruiting channel. Here's where we'll find teams searching for players. Generally, they will be posting about different position openings on the team, their current ranking, and their region. Some will even include a link to their team Discord server, and this is one of the best ways to get the attention of the recruiter, and once in, may lead to scheduling a tryout. So what I did was join a server and schedule a tryout with a team to give you an idea of what those can be like. Every team is different, I tried a couple that had me run some drills and test pocket accuracy, but I think the most effective was the one that scheduled a full scrim to try me out. This is where you'll be able to best determine chemistry and skill under pressure. If you are currently recruiting, there are just a few things I want to mention regarding etiquette. The first is that if it is a scrim, be sure to let the other team know that it is a tryout. Teams generally schedule scrims due to the consistency of the matches to improve, and with players constantly switching in and out, it may catch them by surprise. Next is to be on time. Nothing is more frustrating than everyone ready to get started but two of your players are showing up late. It's a bad look for the tryout player who is expecting some professionalism, and on the other hand, if you show up late to the tryout, you appear unreliable, please be respectful of everyone's time. Lastly, be sure to have a plan. Nothing feels more like a waste of time than showing up to a tryout and sitting around for 10 minutes while the captain decides what to do next. It should be pre-planned and even provided to the players so they know what to expect. This also will make your team appear more organized. And with that, let's go ahead and jump into that tryout scrim that I set up with Team Prodigy. You guys will challenge, we'll stop. I'm gonna, right? um, I'm gonna yeah. yeah, uh, shield. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna deal with the lens fog for right now. <laughs> How did I miss you? I'm uh, go for it. Yep. Venom. I'm not with you though. Uh, Is it Shane on the way down? Yeah, you guys got Venom. Oh. Venom. Grabby, grabby. I smack my ceiling fan bad. Oh, damn. You can be dropping low left. Shoulder, shoulder. Oh, yeah, shoulder. I'll be cutting. Red. Oh, what a grab. Oh. 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 I'm low, right? Um, coming. Uh, reset. I'm on. on. Reset both sides. Nice job. Stay with it, Bonnie. Hold on. Reset bow tie. Reset bow tie. You're red. Good job. All right. Cutting. Cutting. I'm gonna drive. Oh, nice. great play, guys. Nice. nice cut. Good work. Venom. Dude, I cut. Ah. Nest. Nest. 
Oh my god, this is really good. Run. Covered. Going in. Floor. Floor. Go, go. Covered, covered, covered. Nice grab. Good job. Oh, what a play. Nice job, guys. Coming back. Coming back. Yep. Um, I did in the favor. Sorry. I'm holding. Be crossing. Oh, hey, Speedy. Oh, great play, guys. Nice job. I'm working on this. Actually, we changed together. I'm going to bow tie. Nice work. Reset bow tie. Over to me. Dang. Cut. 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 Oh no. I'm at station. If you need the reset. I have it. I have it. I have it. I'm floor. Fly. Bow tie. If you need it. Great work, guys. Alright, so that is basically the process to finding an entry-level team to VRML. As you continue to progress through the ranks, it is always important to network and build relationships with higher-level players. Eventually, you may feel like you've outgrown your current team and have goals of playing in the Diamond or Master ranks. It is currently possible, but most teams at that level do recruit by who they know or have previously developed some sort of relationship with. One of the best ways to meet experienced players is to join private scrim servers. While there are quite a few out there, I would recommend applying for the NEPA PDR for some of the most moderated scrims available. If you have any interest in playing at the professional level, this is a great place to start. And lastly, speaking of NEPA, we are about two weeks out from the charity land in St. Louis. This is going to be a massive event with players from beginner to professional level coming together to play and support the Special Olympics. The land is being held in the Redbird Club inside Bush Stadium, and tickets are $50 for the weekend to play, where you're more than welcome to come and hang out and watch for free. I've linked the website for more information in the description. With that, I hope to see you all there and wish you the best of luck in your competitive Echo endeavors. Don't forget to let me know in the comments how your search is going, and I'll see you in the arena.